Time now for the compound women's individual gold medal match. Title up for grabs here in Shanghai, plus a spot in the Hyundai Archery Our target World Cup final. Number one, representing Great Britain. Ella Gibson. On target number two, representing the Republic of Korea. Cho Su Ha. The line judge for this matchup is. Rumesh Khan. So here we go. The 21-year-old Cho Su Ha from Korea is the world number 118. Going up against the 22-year-old world number one from Great Britain, Ella Gibson. There's a very different look and feel to both the archers as they were introduced to the crowd here in Shanghai. Yeah, Ella, uh, I feel like this is slowly becoming her second home. Uh, being on a finals venue is something that she's getting used to. Whereas uh, Cho Su Ah is going to have to get used to this, I think, if she keeps up this level of shooting. This is one-way traffic for Ella Gibson, despite that confident introduction. Yeah. If there was any doubt, I think that uh, first arrow from Cho shows she means business. Nine. love that she is uh, feeling comfortable enough to make her shot dynamic and not trying to you know keep it tidy or keep it uh, perfect she's just uh, doing whatever it takes to get it in the middle Perfect start from uh, Cho Su An. Yeah, way better shot there. Um, point lead after three arrows. And, and I know it's early in the match, but this is already in Cho's hand. Well, obviously, uh, leading by three points is a very good scenario to be in. Uh, regardless of who you shoot against. I feel like uh, in the semi-final of Ella, we saw her kind of thrive in the second half of her match, where she kind of, she grew into her shooting. Um, and I wonder if that's going to be the case here as well, and if it's going to be on time. That was a good, good fix for that long hold. Uh, there was a bit of a, like a, a wobble where she lost a little bit of tension, but then she recovered, which is, is not easy. Oof. One second left. Had to shoot that. Uh, couldn't wait any longer. You could hear Rio count down in the back. I think we're seeing a little bit of a, I was in a good mental state and I was shooting against somebody. I would see their scores, but I wouldn't do anything with that information. I would just do my own thing. Um, whereas if I was in a, a, a less 
of a <laughs> less of a strong oh. mental state, I would also look at their score and think, ah, oh, I need to, I need to better, better this. I need to be better than their score, and that doesn't help you at all. Um, trying to be better than somebody else doesn't necessarily help. It's a miracle that you archers aren't all completely bonkers. <laughs> that, that, that's what you're saying. <laughs> But it, 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 you, you, you're discussing and talking about um, the, the real key to this sport. They c these, the, these athletes can all shoot 10 after 10 after 10 in training. It's handling the pressure of competition, and specifically of match play. Yeah, I think people who truly master the um, competition side of archery, uh, because like you say, there's two different kinds of archery. You can uh, be really good at being consistent in like a training setting. You can be like a super high scoring archer in trainings or you can win competitions and some people do both uh look at brady ellison for instance or uh people like sarah lopez or mike schlusser or um you know any of the big names um but winning a competition is not the same as being able to shoot a small group because you need to have a certain 30 in first 28 in second another 30 in third and she is broken away, I have to say, from Ali Gibson. And breaking away like this also means that you get less pressure because you know that you can afford to shoot the nine every once in a while. You can make a mistake. One. Yeah, and, and being able to make a mistake or not having to uh, shoot a perfect score to stay ahead also means that you're a bit more free on your shooting and typically you will make less mistakes. <laughs> Conversely, Gibson shooting first, I mean, she's got in some respects a little bit of an advantage because she can put down big scores and put pressure on her opponent but she'll know she's looking for a mistake and that's drifting out to the left don't think that's going to get marked for a measure so this is now five points of difference in five arrows. Nine. Ella just seems to be looking for something. She's like looking puzzled whenever she yeah. isn't sure. hitting the middle. Um, and I, I've been there, and it's a very frustrating place to be. <laughs> well, you've got to wonder what is going through her head. Is that the pressure of trailing by so much? Oh, ten, 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 Another perfect ten, from Cho to R. Yours, easy to say this at this stage, but there was a feeling about this one, having seen oh, the two semi people. But. Uh, trailing as she does by eight points at what she needs to miss doesn't she yeah that's pretty much the only way that this is still going to be a match Ten, Gibson I want to finish strongly whatever Nine, what's difficult in Ella's shoes right now is that um, well we're all, we're guilty of it um, Anything less than a first place uh, is almost a bad result for her, if you uh, look at it from the media standpoint. Um, but I think, like I said in the in the archery show, she made it into the top four again uh, for the second time in a row. Uh, she won the European uh, Grand Prix, so she's not having a bad season, but um, I think she holds herself to similar standards than uh, as the media does. So that puts a lot of pressure on your shoulders. Ten, ten, ten. Perfect score. Well, she does finish strongly with a 140 out of a possible 150. But comfortable Nine. here for it's Cho Su Ah from Korea and a very Ooh, impressive performance indeed. A 146, a clear win for the Korean and uh, a first win on the individual stage for Rio Wild, the new coach for the compounders from Korea. Not only is that gold and a debut gold medal for so the Cho Su Ah, but it's also 
booked her a spot at Hermosillo in the Highland Archery World Cup final. I mean, it's a huge result for Korea in compound archery. It is indeed, yeah. Um, this is going to be... Uh, yeah. Is it not the first time? No, not the first time that a Korean archer uh, in the compound women's division... No, definitely not the way. first time, but it's the first time she's done it, and it's the first time Rio Wild has done it with a Korean. Yeah. 